Good morning, Hawks. Wake up. It's time for another morning announcement brought to you by Hawk News Live and the cast of Hawk TV. Good morning, Spruce Creek. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Spruce Creek. I'm Vienna Sarno. And I'm Noel Midkiff, and this is Hawk News Live for Monday, April 3rd. Congratulations go out to this year's Prom King and Prom Queen, John Triplett and Kaylee Manicky. Also, for those interested in scrapbooking or picking up a clean prom ticket, they're on the cart outside of room C14 today. Congratulations to the following who competed in the state level of MPA, Music Performance Assessment, Solo and Ensemble Competition at Seminole State College on Friday, March 31st. Autumn Rundle, Soprano Solo, Excellent Reading. Rio Alani, Soprano Solo, Superior Reading. Crystal Fuller, Soprano Solo, Superior Reading. State level competition is the highest adjudicated so solo event in the state of Florida. Their performance and rating placed them in the top percentage of high school musicians in the state. Way to go, Hawks. Attention students, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University will be on campus next Tuesday, this Tuesday, <laughs> during lunch in the main atrium. Please stop by and learn more about their university. Attention anyone interested in dual enrollment at Daytona State College. Registration is about to begin for the summer and fall terms at DSC. If you are a current dual enrollment student needing help picking out your classes, or if you would like to train information on how to sign up, please come to 014 on April 6th during fourth period or student lunch. Your school counselors will be there to help you pick classes and answer any questions you have. Remember, April 6th in 014. Attention all athletes and parents. How do you get an athletic scholarship? What does it take to be a college athlete today? When does the recruiting process start? Do smaller colleges have money for athletes? Learn the answers to all these questions and more on Tuesday, April 4th at 7.30 p.m. when our school hosts the student athlete and college recruiting. This free seminar is a must for all athletes in grades 8 through 12 who want to play sports in college and also for their parents. Again, the date is Tuesday, April 4th at 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Attention students, please join us for Florida Shines Virtual College Week, April 4th through the 6th. The three-day webinar event will provide information about college admissions, financial aid, and career planning. The event speakers are experts in their fields. It is a free event founded by the state of Florida. Register at www.floridavirtualcollegeweek.org. Juniors, tryouts to be an MC for the Senior Awards Ceremony will be held on April 13th. Stop by the Activities Office to sign up and pick up the Teacher Recommendation Packet. We encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and take this opportunity to try something different. You'll never know if you don't try. Staff members from the Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranch will be on campus in the main atrium on April 6th during lunch to speak to seniors interested in summer employment. The position pays $230 per week and provides meals and housing as well as all of the necessary trainings to fulfill the job duties. Employees gain invaluable skills that will benefit them throughout college and as they enter the workforce, such as communication, patience, leadership, and more. In addition, employees will have the opportunity to impact over 600 of Florida's youth. Stop by their table Thursday for more information. Did you know that April is Financial Literacy Month? The Academy of Finance will be sharing financial facts with you each day. Today's fact, Martha Washington is the only woman to have appeared on the U.S. currency. She was featured on silver certification certificates in the late 1800s. And now for the weather. We'll start off the day partly sunny with a high of 85 degrees. However, there's a 50% chance of thunderstorms after dismissal time today and on into the evening. Winds will be gusty out of the south near 20 miles per hour. Currently, it's 74 degrees with light southerly winds. That's all for today. We'll see you in the news. It's a great day to be a hawk. Take one, take one, take one.